So welcome to another edition of the Weekend Storage Warrior. I'm looking at my empty garage here. Uh, I haven't purchased any storage units for quite a while. The last one was so terrible it almost made, made me want to give this up. Uh, so as a result I have lots of room here now because I've been selling off all the stuff that was left over but the good thing is tomorrow we have auctions and here we are at the storage place I got here 20 minutes early note the little sign there says one dollar for first month's rent they also have a truck that's available which is another way of saying we'll make it really easy for you to put all your garbage and trash in storage and then walk away from it. Uh, you have to be careful with these first month free places. Alright, so we got a unit. Uh, this is a very small, teeny, tiny little unit. It cost eighty dollars. Really nice auction. Everybody was kind of taking turns, letting each other bid. Each other bid. Of course, when I bid, one guy bid against me. They were going for like five bucks, ten bucks. This one cost eighty. There it is. Uh, I wasn't going to gamble, but I saw art. And I like to gamble on art. This one here in particular. Oh. <laughs> I thought that was an original signature. It's just some kind of a paper there's some art that looks like print well uh, so much for the art ooh there's a kind of cool art trippy anyway let's pull some of this stuff out see what we got all right Christmas pillows a little tiny guitar made in Asia Skylark brand Pillows, bedding, art, boombox, and in here, clothing, empty, Da Vinci. Brother Printers, this one says. And it's been opened. Oh, God. Mickey Mouse. Fireplace grate. This. Oh, a Sega Genesis. With games. Nicey, nicey. Just starting beginning to despair. Sword of Vermilion, Road Rash 2, Sonic the Hedgehog. Oh yeah. I'm not really a game guy, but I can just tell those are worth something. Yeah. Ooh, that's got some weight to it. Yeah, 
game controllers and PlayStation and another Sega. Sega Genesis. Sega Genesis. PlayStation 2. So, that helps a little. Uh, one paperwork, paperwork, paperwork. And that's it. Easy peasy. Take this bag here. More pillows. It's hard to sell pillows and bedding. These are pretty nice, but the thing is, uh, people are worried about bed bugs. I'm worried about bed bugs. I wouldn't use used bedding. But it's expensive. This is some nice king size stuff. And there it is, the whole pile. I'm getting them down on one elevator. A couple of mirrors. Hi. And down we go. Back home to the cave. And there it is, short and sweet. Now this one had a bunch of business records and some personal pictures. Let's see if they want those back or not. Otherwise, I think that's enough for one day. It's quite warm today. I mean, really, really 100 degree warm today here in Southern California. This happens in September. All right. We got these out of the hot sun. Sega. Sega. Sega Golden Axe. Tell me the story. This is something kind of weird. This box here says DVDs, games, game consoles, living room, and then on here it says printers, and it has printers. So this stuff had been bouncing around for a while. All right, so we have finished the dig. It wasn't really much to dig. Uh, this stuff's still out here. Uh, there's a nice mirror and some art out there. The rest is trash. Business records, Christmas stuff, pillows. There's a little fireplace grate. Pillows, 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 pillows. Bedding, worn out Samsonite. Uh, this stuff isn't worth much. 50 bucks, maybe. Uh, depending on the art. It's all just decorative art. It's not collectible art. We sell a couple for 20 each, maybe. And here we have video games. Lots and lots of video games. These are all Segas. Loose, 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 loose. I priced all these. These range anywhere from a dollar to forty dollars for uh, this one. They're all in perfect condition too. So I estimate we'll get back two hundred dollars on these games. Couple of printers. Both of these printers are messed up. They're junk, out of ink, lights blinking suspiciously, junk, uh, alarm clock that's junk. The alarm doesn't work. A little guitar, Genesis, Genesis, PlayStation 2. So we'll get all the money back and a hundred on the games and the the. Uh, system consoles and then the rest uh, icing on the cake it's not much icing there but we're making money okay so here we are about a week and a half later I actually 
haven't sold any of that stuff I got out of that unit. Been in a bit of a funk. Uh, and in this business, what happens, unless you're constantly selling this stuff, you start to accumulate it. So I have all this stuff now piled up that I have to sell. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to sell these Sega games on eBay and haul the rest out to the swap meet. I have this huge pile of art that's sitting there. I have a whole garage full of stuff in here, uh, including three boxes that my friend gave me of kitchen stuff that he couldn't sell. <laughs> So today we're selling art and this is the stuff my friend gave me and the rest of the stuff from that small unit. I sold a hundred dollars already. I actually sold a pillow and uh, two pieces of art and the Christmas wreaths. So I'm up 70 already on this. 20 more and we've broken even. Alright, well here we are a few days later. I ended up uh, selling $180 worth of stuff at the swap meet for a net of $150. And then I started to get ready to sell these games on eBay, and none of them worked. Only two of them worked. And I battled with the wires and switched TVs, and then finally I remembered that sometimes you have to clean these things. And that's all it was. So I cleaned them with alcohol and Q-tips, and voila, they're all good. So, anyhow, let's wrap this video up. Um, at this point, I've already made $70 on this little $80 unit. And I figure I'll get back a couple hundred on the games, call it 160 So that makes the profit on this unit 230 including that uh, PlayStation and the two consoles. So... This unit was definitely saved by the Sega. And that's it for this movie. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.